All right, zero to 60 with zero miles. Oh, I just died. <laughs> I just not. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go. It's not, gonna, not, not even gonna hit 60. So I said we were gonna go for a ride and we're gonna hop in the Model 3. The idea is, can we get a full 310 miles out of a full charge on the Model 3? So I have Tez, I charged it up fully last night. We're at exactly 310 right now. We're gonna hop on the freeway, go the speed limit and see what we get. Stay tuned. All right. Zero miles, we're officially at 279. Finally got the warning, battery power too low. We're not quite dead yet, but um, about 35 miles an hour is as fast as we can go right now. So we're at 280 miles. We hit zero at about 268. So we've got about 12 miles out of after zero so far. And now it's finally slowing us down. So the brightness on the screen is down. Autopilot's still enabled, huh? Interesting. Whoa. That was crazy. So I, I let off and then I hit the gas and it gave us that little jolt. There's the charger. I would love to run out, like pulling into a charger. Oh, pull over, say car shutting down. Car shutting down. All right, I'm gonna turn around and try to go back to the charger. It like won't let me slow down. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, shit, that was really it. Look at that, we're like in a parking space. And it's still on, technically. What if it'll let me like reverse? Okay, so it's, it's officially dead. We're here. This is probably a bad place to park. Okay, so I, I think that's it. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think we did it. The hazards are on. Now we have to call our tow truck um, and see what they say. So everything still seems to be working. One thing that I was curious was about the rear batteries or the rear doors. Okay, those work. Okay, so what does, I mean, autopilot technically is still working. This is working. We'll cancel our trip. The AC doesn't work. Okay, that makes sense. Let's try, okay, I have stuff in the trunk, so let's just undo this in case we need to get there, and the frunk as well in case we need to. Wipers off. All right, let's try restarting. And if we can get a, just a little bit of charge here to go get out of in between these cars. So I'm gonna hold both of these down. Okay, normally that takes a lot longer. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're restarting. Okay. Yes, 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 wipers off. All right, so we're, we're, we're dead in the water here at, wipers are off, 281.1 miles with a watt hours per mile of 267. Um, and we spent 75 kilowatts, kilowatt hours exactly. All right, so we have a tow truck on the way. Um, we're literally 500 yards. We can't put it into neutral or anything. And the tow mode option only lasts for a certain amount of time. So we can't even do that to push it out of the way. Uh, common thing that could happen is you could literally run out on the way. Um, the, the tow truck will be here in 15 minutes, so hopefully that'll figure everything else out. I don't like the position we're in, but hopefully once we go to tow mode, we can kind of figure all that out. So next, we'll have the tow truck here and we'll, we'll be on our way. Okay, tow truck's here. We're gonna get it loaded up and go charge.
talking. <laughs> no problem, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hey, good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we died. They towed us. We're here at a supercharger. All is well. Couple of tips about it. The tow mode only lasts for about 20 minutes. So I wanted to put it in tow mode and kind of push the car out of the way, but I didn't because I was waiting for them to get there with the truck. When he got here, he didn't use the eye hook that comes in the front because he said it's too time consuming and that it was easier just to, uh, just to put a soft strap around the tire and then hook the winch up to that. So all in all, that was pretty easy. Even with my car lowered an inch and a half, it went right onto the flatbed perfectly. I, I did notice that in the manual, it says you're not supposed to have it towed on anything but a flatbed. These guys knew that, they're professionals. It worked out flawlessly. So with the, the exception of getting stuck in a dangerous position on the road, I would say the fear of running out of battery and all that really isn't that big a deal. I mean, this was a pretty quick turnaround and you know, here we are, we'll be on our way uh, back home in about an hour. So uh, don't worry too much about range anxiety, especially in a car with this much range. Yeah.